Hi everyone, Rocker here. Uh, just having a good laugh here about uh, just finished reading the thread over in the uh, New Coliseum or the Dagorian Roundtable on Fat Life. If you're on Fat Life, I encourage you to go over there because it's quite comical. And what it is, uh, it's, the thread is called uh, uh, this this Gorian Community, and uh, basically it talks it talks about the fact that you know Lionheart's trying to rally the troops and uh, to get rem removed, quote, quote unquote, under, from underneath the Gorian banner. And they've tried this for years. You know, this has been going on well over 20 years. And um, but I'm still here. And, and the whole thing is, is that they're at the point now where they're getting quite frustrated because I've actually been pushing back for the last six months or so and uh, basically I said okay enough is enough you know time to be able to start pushing back and start clearing a lot of things up and I've been doing that as far as all the nonsense that's been happening with Nair everything you know everything that she's done over the years uh, you have Bear with all his you know uh, you know, trying to pretend that he's the voice of Gore and everything else. Uh, you had Malkinius, you know, dealing with that whole situation from 12 years ago with Mark and Selena. And, uh, you know, looks like that's finally been resolved. And the fact that, you know, hey, he put a, a restraining order on me. But, you know, there's no way the guy's ever going to apologize or acknowledge. You know, the best that he could do is the fact that, you know, he did come clean saying that he actually knew who they were now because for years he would deny it that he didn't know who I was talking about and that these people didn't exist and then all of a sudden out of nowhere he shows a photo of them and that was the photo when Mark and Selena and I'm taking them out for dinner as a sign of appreciation because Selena stayed there for a couple of days while Mark had to go do a job in Ohio but uh, <clears throat> yeah just stupid things going on I'm, I'm, I'm quite a uh, quite amused and uh, and I, I, I find it quite funny you know the strategizing that's going on over there and the fact that I am in their head so much you know it just pisses them off the fact that the Gorian gathering place continues to grow that we continue to have new people coming out the fact that I've been very supportive of that if you are new and you've been around for a while or even if you're just brand new it doesn't matter but if you want to be able to meet with other Gorians offline do it it's not that big of a deal you don't need to have the blessing from Silk and Steel you know Silk and Steel died years ago the people that are left are reminiscing about something that was 20 years ago that was a failure and it was a failure for many reasons some of the reasons egos theft of money, sexual assaults, and the fact that, that Bear basically blew it up when he got pissed off one night and basically just blew the whole fucking thing up, you know, is, you know, you don't need them. I've stressed numerous times, these people are dangerous people. You have Nair that goes around um, outing people, and she did it a month and a half ago with Chaos as far as going to Chaos's radio station and coming up with a whole bunch of bullshit about as far as you know child exploitation which was all bullshit and you had when she went after Bray concerning what what Prey did for her job kind of thing and she was telling everyone oh we need to get him fired and he shouldn't be doing that and it's unsafe and da 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 you had when she went after a dragon as far as with the falsified and the forged documents concerning the child custody situation that dragon was going through you know, numerous situations and now you have this new thread that's happening over there you know this is the Gorian community and basically they're over there strategizing and whining and trying to figure out how to shut me up well guys guess what you can't it's that simple you can't um, you know is that for the last six months I've been starting to make a concentrated effort and you haven't seen anything yet but basically I said enough is enough you know they've been going on carrying on the way they do thinking that they're the voice of gore, gore that they are the ones with the authority and they aren't anyone that picks up a book and starts reading the book and says hey I can identify with this and has a real desire to want to be a Goring can be a Goring you don't need the approval of somebody else that comes from the heart that's where it comes from. It does not come from 
someone else telling you, yes, you are a Gorian. You make that stand on your own. You make that conscientious decision on your own. You know, it's that simple. Uh, but, uh, so anyhow, uh, I'm just finding it quite comical and, uh, and amusing. And, and I've been showing it to different friends and that. And they're all just shaking their heads. Because this is normal BS that happens within some Gorian circles. But, uh, and I've been a part of it. You know, uh, there's been uh, the odd night where I've been bored and I've just been poking. Poking a little bit just to be able to get the reactions because I know the entire night they're fussing and fretting. They're losing sleep and uh, it's fun to watch. So, anyhow, you guys have a great day. But I encourage you, go over and check out that thread. This is a uh, Goring community. And actually my blog later today or tomorrow when I have time is that I'm going to start posting you know some of the quotations that are coming out of that because it's quite amusing and at the same times it's very telling about what these people are all about you know they talk about wanting to get a goring community going but their whole focus is on me and why is that because we're doing things the goring gathering place is growing it does have a reputation that things are getting done that we have discussions that are trying to help people. You know, there's been numerous gatherings that have been happening all over North America. And, you know, people are excited. You know, people at Silk and Steel, they want it to remain the way it was 20 years ago. They don't want anything else to start because it'll make them look bad. Because theirs died. It's that simple. And they don't know how to start it up again because they can't. There's so much bad history and bad blood between all of them that they can't agree on even the simplest things as far as what is the Gorian philosophy or what is the Gorian ethos or the fact that if we have a Gorian gathering, you know, who's, who should be there and who should be there. These are simple things that any adult can come to any decisions at. You know, I look at Dean down in Illinois. He's running a very successful Gorian gathering down there. I look at Jeff over in Boston, running a successful Gorian gathering down there. I look at Rene up in Quebec City, running a very successful Gorian gathering. You no, know, I look at our assembly, very successful. You know, a lot of things going on there. I look at uh, Danielle over in, uh, uh, where is she from? Oh, Las Vegas. Sorry. Sorry. Danielle in Las Vegas, you know beautiful free woman and and she's doing some great things out there you know the Gorian community is alive and well it's growing people are showing an interest and the, the important thing is people are coming out to events they're feeling safe they're able to ask questions and they're able to learn and grow and that's what community is all about you know, it's not about sitting behind a computer basically trying to bash somebody else or trying to compare yourself to other people. And while, well, okay, they're more successful, so we're going to have to tear him down. You know, that's utter nonsense. But the Gorian community, it is alive and well. And I'm glad that I can have a very small part in encouraging that. But the biggest encouragement is you guys. Shirt here, this is real. Okay? And uh, I'd like to buy a whole bunch of these and, and just send them out to a lot of you guys because it's true. You know, this is real. It's not online. It's not fantasy. It's not role play. It's the real deal. Take care, guys. Have a good day.